Hello, it's me again, Ju Yang's trigger warning guy. The performance will be controlled under 27 minutes. Please sit or stand in a comfortable way. Today, things might contain depictions of death, sex, violence, eating disorders, noting the use of flashlight. We will be gentle. Please feel free to leave if you feel uncomfortable during any time of the show. We are very nice people. Thank you. Bus. Rabbit. Chicken soup. Okay. Are you ready, Ribbit? Um, please right now take out your, all of your documents and uh, check if there's any problem. And let me know if you guys are ready. We're sorry. The number you have reached is not in service. driving a bus because I said I always want to be a bus driver. London buses are woeful. B5 Helly chaps. What a nice model. They smiled and French kissed me. Thought I was being sarcastic. I made a dodge by an ultimate spinning tried to control myself under the national speed limit and said, you don't kiss your friend. And I'm serious. Well, anyway, the most important thing, um, really, really remember to say thank you to your drivers. Okay? Promise me. Right? <laughs> long way to go. The bus is no sign of stopping. so bad, I can't even see the road. Who the hell thought of the idea of driving on the second floor of the bus? Attention all units, suspect in custody. Ranking my brain. How I can see the people on the road dropping from my roots in other cars' of space. There's surprisingly many pedestrians at an intersection. I am nervous. I still haven't got my insurance done after the last performance. It's like someone is nodding with relief, but you are actually talking nonsense to cover up the embarrassment. <coughs> After several repeats, the story finally made me stop. Don't move. 
man. So Amanda. All right, and he's now injured. Let's go pour radio back up. Man, what shake it, dude? Cops are checking his birthday. Uh, we're gonna do person injured. I saw a hairy foot. My boss is still parking beside. Obviously, I hate it. Get your hands behind your back, dude. I told a cop, I thought I crushed a lot of people already. The cop said, Can I see your ID, please? I said, I think I'm super good at driving. The cop said, That's right, you need to hit someone to stop. I said, Cool. The cop then asked me, was there no one to tell you to sit on the first floor? I said, my birthday is actually fake, but tomorrow I strike. The cop pounced me. Jesus criminy. <laughs> I walked back to the box. Sober this time. I saw the man. It's him. He placed me on the second floor. He, he closed the door and changed my shirt when I hugged my friends goodbye. And drive straight away. The loveless kisser. That, that was, was fucking, fucking hurt. hurt! Yes, that was fucking hurt. Tattoos on my foot, and no one kissed him today. I said, Thank you, driver, loudly, and watched the feet being pulled away from the scene. At least I'm still trying to save the world. I took my briefcase, turned away. On the flyover, messaged my lawyer that I was bitten up. The lawyer asked me if I did it first. I said, no. Then he put me in contact with the manager of Volvo dealership store. Sex addict. His ship docked in Volvo dealership store in New Zealand and he paid. Since then, he has been living out of rage for over a decade with his stepmother. It's a very nice flyover with a shade shaped tunnel, like underground without open air. The man takes out his peanuts, defends himself here. The stepmother spreads her legs and opens the door with the weird hat gear. He's been out of control. Those nights, there are many rabbits in the bridge. All kinds, all kinds of men and women. Some are thirsty, 
some are hungry. The man ate a ton of rabbits, but can't get a full burp. Another batch of people waiting to be taken there. Room for each other. Those hundred years without any swear. The stepfather is asexual and leaves quite a He suddenly woke up, feet up, rabbit, decided to take this man down. Not for taking off the bunny mask, may dress, ten butt plugs in rainbow colors, plus three more colors. Not for radish or suit, more than threesome or what. But it never felt like a rabbit since it was a kid. The favorite person here is the stepfather, because the only thing he would do. On the back, is to drink his beer. Then one day, Rabbit buys him a pot, like those praying mantis who are afraid to commit a losing hand. Because you want to make it to be alive.
on the last day. They had that orgasmic Turkish chicken soup. My girl sitting across from me told me the soup works better than anyone. I admit it, it does. It's faster than going to the bottom of your heart and licking it. I swallowed the second mouthful of soup with the corner of my mouth raised. At the same time, the man at the next table looked at me from time to time. Why do I know? Because I was pretending looking for the waiter. I said, the soup is so fucking good. Thank you for taking me on a hike of rebirth from Greenwich to Dorster. That man is drinking his beer slowly. I said, you know what? I realized yesterday that some romances are private. When the moon crawls out of her branches and thought you were the only one saw it. The man paid the bill and went to the toilet. It really took him a long time to go to this toilet. Make me question the authenticity of the toilet for the first time of my life. Quitting smoking is sometimes unnecessary because Romances could become a person's wisdom, but not always good for health. I started to fantasizing how sexy I felt when I was smoking a cigarette. But how sexy is it? Is it more attractive and thought-provoking than the third sip of chicken soup? Is it more intriguing than the story of that driver wrote his autobiography at the age of 60 based on the passengers while well, I'm writing about the drivers? I learned the posture of my girl. Breaking up the bread and put it in the soup. After stirring, it's the fourth sip. The man came out of the toilet. Oh yeah, finally. He asked for a takeaway of that half glass of beer. <sighs> His story is so boring. Romances sometimes could be really lancy for me. So I drift to the other side. The boobs of the lady at the next table are so soft and bouncy. 
I send a gaze that ready to be criticized by the audience's kind of gaze. That's right. That's the bad, bad male gaze. Because they look too amazing. Here comes the drag queen sense of accomplishment when I was a child and snicked in my mother's closet. Swaddled a last sip of soup, grateful and a bit angry. Finally, the story allows me to stay here a bit longer. Let's jump onto a random bus to the towers of Florence, where the mountains are full of flowers. You said we are poor. I said I can drive. You said you are suspected and not skilled at driving. I said so. Let's save some food and courage. I've got some missing tortillas, a cup of rabbit tails. And some useful cops, and the greatest gifts: our fear and our love. <laughs>